I am Canadian, and as the law-abiding citizen that I am, I decided to look up some of the strangest laws that exist here to avoid getting put behind bars. And I wanted to share some of the weirdest laws I found in Canada. First, I want to talk about some of the laws I found that are so ridiculous that they had to have happened at some point. For example, in Fredericton, New Brunswick, you can't wear snakes or lizards. You heard that right. Wear. You also can't bring llamas to any national park in Canada. You see what I mean? Like, there's no way these laws get made without it happening at least once. There's also a law where two bagpipe performers can't perform at the same time in Victoria, BC. My headcanon on this one is that there was an epic duel between two bagpipe performers that started a civil war or something. It is also illegal to fraudulently pretend to be a witch, which I think means it's not illegal to be a witch, but it is illegal to pretend to be a witch. And in Alberta, you can't set someone's wooden leg on fire. Did this happen a lot? I hope this was actually a thing. Then there are some laws that are just very specific. In Canada, Ontario, you can't paint your garage door purple. And in Beaconsfield, Quebec, you can't paint your house two different colors. And in Soros, Prince Edward Island, you can't make a snowman larger than two and a half feet. I mean, your town name is Mouse in French, so that's red flag number one. And speaking of rodents, you cannot own any more than four rats in Vancouver. I mean, if you want to own a pet rat, you're just a psychopath. I hate to break it to you, but also, why four? That's so many. One is too many. No wonder Vancouver has a rat problem. Speaking of which, in Alberta, where I'm from, it's illegal to own a rat. Why, you ask? Because Alberta is the only livable place in the world where there are no rats. Talk all the shit you want about Alberta, but at least we have that. And last, we have two laws that are so weird and so specific. First, you can't eat ice cream on Bank Street on a Sunday in Ottawa. Pretty specific, right? Similarly, in Toronto, there is also a law that prohibits you from doing something specific on a specific street on a Sunday. According to the law, you cannot drag a dead horse down Yong Street on a Sunday. Which would mean, you can drag a dead horse on Yong Street any other day, no questions asked. Or, you could drag a dead horse down any other street on any day of the week. What? Yeah, yeah. I got a bustin', bustin', bustin'.